Hello. Hello. Hey, Trees. Hey, Lawrence. Long time ago. It actually is, huh? Yeah. It's been too long. We've been trying. We've sincerely been trying, but it was, yeah, I mean. Difficult. Difficult. I was not at home. Then I was home. Then Trees was gone. And it was like this since now, I think, two months. So mm. we weren't really able to uh, record anything. Uh, we got uh, life-threatening messages from a lot of people. but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, a lot of people that... Yeah, yeah. Even uh, my boss uh, said, "When is your next? Uh, <laughs> when is your next podcast?" So I was like, "Oh, it's working." We have no. To I, I did a big interview for Autosport.com two months ago, and he actually texted me two days ago. Like, Can I still publish it? Are you guys still doing it? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, but we're planning on. Uh, obviously, we're still learning with this. Uh, we're planning for this winter to record a lot more, yeah, so that we have some content to to share next summer when potentially this happens again so um welcome back uh we'll have we'll talk a bit about the rest couple of months and what's what's coming up um i think we or at least i had a decent summer break you a little bit less but uh yeah but actually uh one of the biggest one no one of the bigger ones yeah i had a uh, two three weeks um so it was not bad i mean we went on holiday together was uh, was amazing. No. <laughs> yeah, I had to bail out after a week to go to America. Yeah, and uh, then me and Victoria, we we did some, some two small more holidays. Um, but it was good fun. Yeah, the weather was amazing everywhere. True. Ex- I mean, there was also a lot of rain uh, everywhere nowadays. Uh, if you yeah. look at uh, the news, I don't know if you look at the news. No. You just told me that you want to subs- uh, end your subscription of the of your TV, uh, your monthly TV thing. <laughs> I don't watch TV. I watch Netflix, you, uh, YouTube. <laughs> um, no, I actually had, I had, to, or we had, I had the uh, biggest summer break I can remember. I had like one and a half month. That's Nothing. long, huh? Yeah, and it was, but it was, it was k- kind of nice because like, I mean, those who follow me on Instagram saw probably that I did this bike trip, which I wanted to do since years, and I never had time for it. So finally did it. Rented a, a little van, like a sprinter van, built with a bed and a <coughs> kitchen. Come to that later. Uh, and did all the big climbs in south of Europe. Stelvio, uh, Mont Ventoux, Alpe d'Huez. Uh, then went to Girona, Andorra, ended up in Spain. Uh, a lot of cycling. It was really a really cool experience. How uh, many ni- How many days was it? I think it was nine or ten days. Oh, how many total. nights was it? Yeah. And how many nights of the <laughs> thing did you spend oh. in the van? <laughs> <laughs> well, beforehand, before the weekend, when I was started after Monza, I was with Kevin and I said, oh, I'm going to build a van myself. This is so cool. <laughs> you can just park wherever you want. And it was it was cool, but it was so hot that... It was impossible to sleep. And I, I went to a Carrefour in, in, in France and I went to buy like a little air conditioning. But obviously this only works when you plug it in, 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 in the power on the camping side. So I had to go on the camping side instead of just, you know, parking it somewhere on the mountain ah. and sleeping. And at one point I was in the nice luxury city of Monaco, but then half an hour next to it on the camping side between, yeah, young guys who were drunk. I did my bike ride and then I tried to have a nap in the afternoon. It was still so hot. And I was like, beep, at uh, this. And I just booked the hotel and then <laughs> slept the rest of the trip in hotels with my bus. So <laughs> double expenses, but <laughs> it was still fun. But it was, it looked nice, huh? It, it was good fun. It was cool. <clears throat> but the first, the first day I already was like, what the hell am I doing? I'm going back home. Yeah. And this, mm. this memory, uh, this thought came back like, two or three times but then eventually when you get on top and you you get there and you see the view and then it's like ah, fuck, it's cool i achieved something nice and it's a cool experience but it was it was tough but nice experience but the cycling was one thing but then you know if you jump in the bus and then have to drive like four or five hours and search for food that was a bit uh, exhausting part like days where i stayed two days on one location that was a lot more relaxed but Oh, it looked nice. Good. It was a good experience. You can take it out of the box. Exactly. Something you're gonna do one day? Um, yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm training a lot now. I'm. I'm putting my goals there. 
Uh, you just <coughs> saying this for Andreas or for? Yeah, I mean, I know that he's watching. Too. No, no, he knows. He knows. I mean, I mean, he knows. I do something, but I also don't do a lot. But um, <coughs> no, it's n maybe not something I would do one day. I mean, psh, yeah, n n no, no. <laughs> Short <laughs> no. answer, no. Um, no, I did. Believe it or not, you can ask Victoria when she when you see her. Um, on holiday, I did uh, every day. I did like uh, seventy push-ups, and um, I did like fifty push pull no um, push-ups and sit-ups. Sorry, <laughs> doesn't even know the name. <laughs> and sit-ups, and uh, yeah, I, d I really did that on holiday the whole time. And I was looking more at my f on my food on holiday than I would do at home, okay. which was a bit weird, of course. Yeah, good strategy. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, that that, that it's it. gone again. Okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> the hype is gone. Okay, well, at least you tried. Yeah. yeah. I actually did the second trip in the end because I, when we were on holiday, I got called up that I'm going to do Atlanta now in, as a third driver, the final race of, of IMSA. So I had to go there for a seat fit, and then five days later there was a test, and five days later there was another test. So I decided to take my bike and stay there again for 12 days, I think. And again, mm. they did like a road trip to Charlotte, Asheville, uh, Chattan Chattanooga, Chattanooga, uh, Nashville, Indianapolis. Went to watch the IndyCar in Louisville, and back to Atlanta. This is something I would like to do once. I mean, I know uh, again I have to probably train, but for that I would m I would maybe do it to do IndyCar once, or even just to do a test. I mean, I know. Of, uh, then I really need to be fit and I need to be strong yeah. to be able to do a test. But I think it's nice to do the road courses and stuff. I would I wouldn't mind doing a test neither. I mean, I don't want to necessarily change and, and go and try pursue an IndyCar career. But I thought about asking Roger about because there's a rookie test. Yeah, yeah, of course. At the end of the year, <laughs> and I, I get along with like Roger more and more well. Actually, really good. And I was thinking to to ask, but I haven't done it yet. But maybe. Just ask. I mean, yeah. I know you have a yes, you can get. Yeah, yeah sure. I, would I, I, would, I think it would be. I, w I went to watch Louisville, which is an oval, a short oval. It's very different, obviously. But uh, yeah, it was cool. And obviously, New Garden is now as well doing Atlanta. So we yeah. spoke quite a bit with him as well. It's uh, a different world. I mean, and you know, drive racing in the US, anyways. But I think that is even. Is that not more stressful than, like, for example, IMSA? Because you always said IMSA is nice, the tracks are amazing. But the atmosphere on the paddock is like more relaxed compared to Europe. Like Europe is, you know, you have the, well, the, the, mm. the all the big manufacturers, uh, um, yeah, mainly the big German brands. You mean IndyCar is more stressful? Or? No, yeah, yeah. Then, then for example, IMSA. Um, I mean, I was a bit surprised by this because obviously I went to Louisville and this is not the highlight the of race, the year on the calendar. Yeah. But it looked, it didn't look so different than in, than the big IMSA race. In terms of how they work and prepare, it's. I mean, I think it's it's a high level and 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 quick cars, but it it's not with all due respect, it's not Formula One standards and yeah, no. in, in in terms of um, people watching or or the way they work or the how many members on the team. For sure, it's it's high level and and and, and high racing, but yeah. I, I, I thought it would be more different than, for example, an IMSA event, mm. which wasn't on Louisville. I will see if you go to Indy 500, it's probably a different story. But um, True. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would be different. Uh. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, you did, now they started to speak about it, you did some LMDH driving as well now. Oh, last yeah? Last month. No? Uh, I mean, you said it yourself. Yeah, I did. I did uh, I did some <coughs> tests uh, in the LMDH car. Um which actually was really fun. It is yeah. it is fun. Um, I mean, I don't have experience of the LMP1 days. I have experience in in, mm -hmm. a, in an LMP2 car. Um, but it's fun to drive. I mean, I think it's cool. Uh, and we are going... I mean, it's going well. <coughs> Sorry. Um, we're going well. So, um, yeah, it's very cool. It's very interesting. A lot of new things to learn, new things to, to do. Um, but, yeah, let's see. I mean, hopefully we can... Hopefully, I mean, everything sorts out in the right way soon. Um, fingers crossed that it uh, that it will, will go that way. But yeah, we have to wait and see. 
But how was it? Was it a big change for you to to drive, or was it? I mean, you obviously have some LMP2 <coughs> experience. Uh, yeah, a little. I mean, again, just having to get used to the no ABS stuff and um, the downfalls. It doesn't have so much downfalls. It's not that crazy difference no. compared to. I mean, you never drove. Oh, you did GTE. Yeah. So. Yeah, GTE, but then on steroids or something like this. Yeah. 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 Also, P2. For me, feels more downforce. It's a lot lighter as well. Yeah, you. It's also much more nimble. Mm. This you feel the weight. Huh? It's like one thousand something. Um, but the power is quite cool. Yeah. Like in yeah. Aragon, we were doing like three thirty. It's like as soon if you see this for the first time, and it's crazy how it works. Like, I mean, maybe for people, some people that are watching or listening, that when you, uh, some people that drive two hundred or two fifty for the first time, they're like, "Wow, what the fuck? That's crazy." But then when you do this uh, in the LNH car, it's like the first time you're like, fuck, it's nice. But then five laps later, you're like, okay, yeah, boring. Yeah, you used to it quite quickly. <laughs> um, but it's good fun. It's, um, I think the most difficult or the most different thing <coughs> for me still, and now I'm 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 used to it, but is the electronics, the hybrid, all this stuff. This is obviously completely new for you as well, all the, how it works and all the systems involved yeah. with that and setup as well. I mean... Nowadays, setup of a car is, or those cars is, uh, I feel sometimes fifty percent software. Yeah, compared to the standard GT three racing, which you don't have that at all. No, uh, for sure. I mean, everything has to be lined up. Everything has to work really well. If one thing doesn't work, then mm. it affects a lot of other as things as well on the car. So there are thousands and thousands of sensors, so they all have to to work. Mm. And um, yeah, in the beginning, it's I was I was quite overwhelmed with it. But now I, I say it myself, I, I think it's become a strength of mine because yeah. I, I really <coughs> I think I understand, understand it and I can really use it in the race to, to get the car uh, working better or different or, or adapt to situations. And yeah, but it's also been, I mean, to be honest, it's been going well. Huh? I mean, for you personally in, in the season, I think it's, it's I mean... I mean, for me, if I can say from the outside, uh, looking how it goes for all the Porsches, it's been going well. I mean, it looks like you you are adapted. I mean, you adapted well, and you you're understanding how it works. I just feel comfortable in the car, and I have been since the beginning. Yes, in the beginning, and now it's getting a lot better. In the beginning, it was not good, but I've somehow always been the one who has been complaining the least. Like I've always somehow, yeah, felt comfortable in 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 it. Like on lap one, I don't know why, but I just maybe it's from the meditation. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, no, but I yeah, I just feel comfortable and and I like driving it. And I think those two things already bring yeah. you far away. I think. No, it's nice. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward. I mean, I hope everything goes the right way. Like I said, and then who knows? Maybe. Uh, Next year we can go uh, crash in Le Mans yeah. together. I don't <laughs> think I uh, would uh, on that on that class. Uh, <laughs> wow, well, it was the last lap, the last sector in Porsche corners. Yeah, okay, then okay. I don't care this if it's uh, you or uh, no, Alibaba. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this is true, but um, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, you maybe. Know. Yeah, and for you, how was Fuji? You had that was the first race you did after the summer break, right? Yeah, I did. Except two tests only in America and then Fuji. It was well. I mean, I mean, the yeah. start was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've I've never went to Fuji. It was the first time. Ah, oh, yeah, true. How yeah. did you like it? It's nice, like, huh? Yeah, actually, it has a I nice like flow it. in it. Yeah, huh? I I did it on the sim, and as well, yeah, I did. It, I had to go to the sim on Porsche, and I was like, okay, let's do uh, at least a bit of laps on my sim here at home, so I know where it goes. Oh, you did use it? Yeah, they use it. Had to update it oh. for an hour. Um, but then I had like 10 laps and it was fine and I was like kind of on lap times which I saw on the internet so okay let's go to the sim and even on the sim I, I enjoyed driving it and even there uh, okay the first session was like on wets and I went out and first lap was okay it was trying a bit so blah blah, blah. but the first timed lap was on lap time of, of the others and then the second session I was like second off <laughs> I don't know like shit, but it was yeah, it was difficult conditions. Um, but then in the race, obviously Kevin qualified fourth, and the two Toyotas up front, two Toyotas in Japan, and I was kidding the whole evening with Andre and Kevin. Like, ah, 
I'm fancying a move in T1, goes long straight. You just try it. You, I mean, maybe we can upset them a bit. And and then I had a start, and I was like, going like, yeah, now I have to do it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. And then literally just, I couldn't see where I was. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to break half a second later than Conway. And that's what I did. And that's what everybody else behind me did as <laughs> well. <laughs> and nobody made the corner. But when I turned in, I was like, shit, I fucked up. And, and then I looked right, and nobody was there. Like, Okay. <laughs> but you locked the rears, no? Yeah. Yeah, I went just at the at the entry point. I went quite rear with the bias not to to block the front. Um but yeah, then it worked and then I was then I was up front and I was I was seriously like looking in the mirror like, okay, what are they doing? Like why is the Ferrari not catching me? And I was like really taking care of the tires because we it was quite hot and we were driving on the mediums. So I was really looking at, you know, temperatures and, and and saving fuel, and I was like, can't be, I'm still driving away. And in the end, okay, the Toyotas had the pace, but they were stuck. The fry was not so quick. Um, yeah, and drove drove away, and even the second stint could manage to get a bit with the Toyota. They were coming back a bit, but still, it was it went a lot better than we than we all thought. And um, so, which was very promising. I think it, it, we really finished on the podium, meriting on speed, mm. not through a bit of luck like we had in Portimao. So it's, and then the week after they did one, two in Indianapolis. So it's... Yeah, it looks like you guys are going... Yeah, it's going right in the right way. direction, for sure. It's just, which is good. It's good for the team and uh, and all of it. But um, the only thing was Friday, Friday on Saturday, 15 times I went to the toilet in the night. Oh, yeah. did you... Uh, you didn't need your gluten or you didn't you, you ate something with gluten? No, Emily was sick when I left. Ah. And ah, okay. Then I had it like a week later there and like Saturday I did massive like, diarrhea. Yeah, like Saturday I had to do five laps and then I was sleeping the whole day. Oh really that yeah. bad? Yeah, yeah, I was completely I came back home three days later and I was still like one and a half kilos lighter than I <laughs> than I left. Oh. So it was not very pleasant, but in the end, in the race, it turned out. It's a good way to lose weight. Yeah. Even, so. I was light, it was quick. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's why you had a good <laughs> toe and the straight. Yep. So yeah, it was good, it was fun. <coughs> now, there's one more in, uh, well, next up is Petit Le Mans. I'm leaving tomorrow for testing. Bahrain. And then maybe one more race, or one more race, but I'm not telling which one. Oh, yeah. So Nice yeah. one. And you? Um, well, I also had the feeling that I had a long holiday, but I really enjoyed it because I, um, I arrived in Hockenheim where it was the first sprint race again, uh, and was really motivated. And at the end, um, yeah, yeah due to some things, uh, I was, uh, immediately already annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> um, difficult. should try meditation. Yeah, but this I uh, was a bit too too pissed off, and um, I heard about that. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a I got a Vincent. He called me. Uh, one of was Kurt who called me on the Monday after. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, well, at the end, okay, he okay. was. It's, uh, it's it's he is right, but uh, I was I have my reason. But at the end, um, it was a okay weekend. Um, it was nice to drive again, you know, to, to uh, when you have a month off and you come back in the car, mm. you are like, oh, it's, it's been a while. Uh, but we finished third, well, actually fourth, but then got the penalty, uh, that got the third place again and fifth, fifth, yeah. Because <coughs> the last lap in race one, uh, Thierry uh, I saw that, yeah. Müller, uh, well, pushed me off. Um, you know him or no? Yeah, well, we got, yeah, f I don't know. I mean, we've all known Max when yeah. we were small. Um, but yeah, I had a son from his manager, no? Yeah, yeah. But I had some contact. I mean, when I was a bit like, you know, let's say the the puber time, I had more contact with Max, and you know, it all it all went away. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of contact with him now on the racetracks. Uh, we we have a chat, we have a coffee together, so that's nice. Mm. And uh, I mean, I wasn't pissed because I, I I was expecting it, so I I I, I defended, but uh, he just mm. opened the, I mean, opened the brakes and. And there I went. Um, but at the end, we got it back. Um, but it was a difficult weekend, to be honest. Uh, we maximized actually everything quite well. Is the because I'm not watching the race in detail, but is it 
more a question of BOP or it, it seems that it's a bit difficult for BMW, no? Yeah. In those in GT World Challenge. Yeah, it doesn't favor us for sure. I mean, at the moment, it's a very bit of a, to say it in a nice way, a shit show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just difficult. I mean, it's, it's, you know how it goes. Uh, yeah. It's always a political game and um, we, we really, I made already a lot of steps with the car. I mean, the car is always actually never really in a super bad window, but we just sometimes lack pace. And yeah, as you know, it has been in the past with the BMW. It always needs a bit of an offset on the straight to mm. for them to be competitive. It is just what it is. I mean, we can keep saying it is not, but it is. And um, well, it has never really came, come to us. Um, except in Valencia. I mean, Valencia was a good weekend for us. I was very competitive. Um, we really made a good step, even though we were actually struggling the whole weekend with uh, setup-wise. We were oversteer and a 46 car, which was doing a good job, uh, was like on rails. And then we copied that, and we managed to win our first race uh, with BMW yeah. in the sprint series. I mean, they won already in Misano, yeah. but um, for me personally, for the first sprint mm. race, uh, it was nice. So... Yeah, now let's see. I mean, the next race is this weekend in uh, Barcelona. What else, what else do you have after that? Um, I have Barcelona, then I have Sandvoort, the last round of the sprint series. We are still in fight for the title. We are only 11 points behind, okay. so it's all to play for. I mean, it's of course not as good as being... Uh, Marcello's uh, leading. Huh? Marcello's leading, and then the Feller and Trudy are oh. six points or seven points behind. So it's 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 gonna be fun, um, and then I have Indianapolis, IGTC, yep. and then at the end of the year, normally still Abu Dhabi, if that's how if that's okay. going. Um, are you going to Macau? Uh, no, not going. We had the BM, the two BMWs going. Fuck, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Oh, you didn't say where we were driving. There's also six Porsches going, I think. Um. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you? Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody listens to this podcast anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's fun to go. Uh, I mean, I also... I think it's like going to... I heard it's going to be a real, like, proper, proper field. I don't know exactly who, but, like, <clears throat> more than the other years. So... I mean, I would love to go. Uh, at the end, of, I don't think I'm going. I didn't hear anything anymore, but it's always a nice event. I yeah, mean, to go to track and... Um, it's cool. So it's going it's to be the last race of the year and then straight Sunday evening, we're flying on holiday for a week. Ah, yeah? so. ah you're going... Ah, okay. Yeah. End of the season. I also went to a DTM event, or race, let's say. That's I was uh, in Red Bull Ring. I had to uh, be... I was on standby if, if Rene... Uh, is, is baby was gonna come or not? I um, thought about it. It would have been a good race on Sunday for to join, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the <laughs> end, looking at it now, yeah, I would have maybe liked to drive. Even though last car I drove before that was like the LMDH car, to then jump in the GT car with zero laps in practice, just going into quali. I don't have, <coughs> no, I don't have any issues with that somehow switching. No? I don't have so issues from switching to GT to LDH, but coming back, I always need like four or five laps. Yeah, yeah, you need two, three laps to... Yeah, it's not like you're going to be the whole weekend two <laughs> seconds off. Huh? I mean, no, no. then you can better go play but cards. But still, for you, it's still different because you drive that car the whole year. I only drive the car yeah. literally <coughs> two times a year. Two times. Yeah, that's right. true. But uh, it was, I mean, nice to see the DTM thing again. For me, honestly, it's, it's like a GT Masters race, but then called DTM. Well, it kind of is. Yeah. It is. I mean, and it's nice that it's still going, you know, and it's a competitive, most competitive GT field there is, especially that you can drive by yourself, which maybe, you know, I got asked the question a few times the, uh, last weekend. I know you didn't put the standards very high uh, with your sloppy season. Well, you neither <laughs> with your one <laughs> off phrase. Eh? <laughs> um, but maybe, you know, that I know that if I would do it properly and do it by myself, I might yeah. could be okay, but... I don't... I really feel that I'm more into this endurance yeah. thing. I just... 
I like working, working with, with, with other drivers and, people, and, yeah, and being yeah. open, not this one-on-one. And also just, uh, yeah, and I, f- th- I don't know, that's why maybe I feel well and wet. Like, I really <coughs> feel confident about this fuel saving, tire management, long race strategy, and, and uh, maybe not that one lap. I don't concentrate on that neither. That one lap thing, I don't do qualifying because it's in WEC, it's... Yeah, okay, qualifying is important, but the one lap lap time is irrelevant and mm. you do double seven tires. But so, you know, I mean, obviously, if you're winning, then uh, if I would have won DTM last year, I would have probably said them something different. But yeah. But who's going to win the championship? Bortoflotti or Steining? Or Fellow is still in the world. Well, I think uh, Bortoflotti is now, uh, <laughs> no, he's uh, now what, 10 points behind now? I mean, it's gonna be di- it's gonna be interesting. Eh? It's ten points. Feller is also still in. It. F- Sheldon is also actually mathematically still in it. Mm-hmm. That he needs like a miracle of a weekend, but you never know. I mean, it's a political game when the mm-hmm. when they want, they are there. So yeah, I don't know. I think a showdown between Preining and Bortoflotti would <laughs> <laughs> it would come down to the wire. I think it would end. It would end exciting. in tears. Yeah. I don't know, it would be very exciting. I think it would be a nice race. I'm for sure going to watch. <coughs> um, when is it? Next weekend? No. No, in two weeks, I think, or yeah. three weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's after Zandvoort. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's see. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, at the end, I don't care, but I mean, just, just <laughs> I watch. Huh? <laughs> just need something to talk about on the podcast. <laughs> no, <Okay>. joking. <laughs> no, but it's going to yeah. be cool. Yeah. For the rest, yeah. I signed up for another triathlon. Oh my god! Are you still training so much? No. Everybody I speak to says your brother is cycling so much every day. I'm like, yeah. yeah your well brother I is training so much. Your <laughs> brother is doing this. Your brother's oh, is he really doing food? I'm like, yeah, man. How the <laughs> fuck should I know? <laughs> no, but I, I no. Since the summer break, I've been surprised myself. I'm averaging 500 kilometers a week on the bike. I almost have 10,000 kilometers this year already. It's a lot. Well, yeah, yeah. You, I don't think you ever did 500 in your life. <coughs> no, the most I did on the bike was 100. Yeah. In one go, huh? Well, the thing is that Jacqueline and Emily, they're really into horses. So they go to the horse every day and I just get more free time <laughs> <laughs> to ride my bike. So but yeah, this, this event is Jan Frodeno, you know him? Who? Jan Frodeno. No. He's like the goat of triathlon, let's say. Just, oh, yeah, I yeah, know him. Yeah. From your internet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> from the internet <laughs> www <laughs> and it's it's organized by him and uh, Ryzen <laughs> huh. um, it's like one and a half kilometer swim 90 kilometer on the gravel bike Ooh. And, and then 10 kilometers of trail running but I haven't swim in a year and I haven't run in six months and it's in three weeks but oh man you will not be in fair shape huh? no but it's a more like a fun why event. would you do it then because it's fun, it's in Girona. We always, wa- I always wanted to go there with Jacqueline since I went there on myself. It's quite nice, but they, they like at the fuel stations they have like donuts and and that stuff. So ah. it's, it's like a something for me. Yeah, if only you could swim. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, uh. I need those rubber tubes. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> that would be quite a story. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm for sure not doing that. I am. Um, What's the, oh, today I went to a uh, golf thing. Oh, <coughs> I went to get a new golf uh, fitting. <laughs> and, um, again? <laughs> I did, did only one so last far? year. But at the moment, I took some lessons again, but I lost some distance, so I need. I mean, I have to have to work on it again. Have to maybe I go practice tomorrow. But um, I'm in the in the WhatsApp group with Charles and Maxime, and the only thing we talk about is group. The golf group. The thing is the WhatsApp group is called Golf PGA. <coughs> And uh, in the morning, I made. I was on the way to the, <laughs> to the, to the place, and I made like a video, like I was interviewing myself. So I was like, "Hi, Teresa, how do you feel uh, in head of, ahead of your fitting?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, it's gonna be an important d- stuff like this, you know." And, and man, they were all laughing. And at the end, I arrived. I came home with zero clubs, so I felt really proud. I do have to buy two clubs on the internet, so that's <laughs> that's an excuse. I went to Top Golf. Does that count? No, it's not the same. Why you just don't try it once? I like sports with like a physical 
Challenge. Yeah, but yeah, but it is physical. Yeah, are you sweating when you play golf? No. Yeah. But you, if if you never tried, you can't say. No, but golf <coughs> is more like a technical sport. Yeah, but if you want to hit it far, you have to hit it far. Yeah, but it's still a technical sport. It's not because I'm strong that I can hit further. It's just because your technique is good. Yes. And then you need to be strong. But yes. it's just a mental game. It's not game. like cycling where you you can literally kill yourself, kind of. Yeah, but uh, you're in pain the whole time and your, yeah, your mind the says the whole time, oh, I want to stop. And then you have to say to yourself, no, you have to keep going. It's all in the head. You have to keep, and your yeah, legs well, are like, oh, point. I want to stop. That's the point. Yeah, no. I like that challenge. Whether it's running, cycling, swimming. Everything. Why make life difficult when life is easy? <laughs> yeah, I, I know that's your motto. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, at the end, to come back to my goal fitting, um, I still did find two clubs, which I'm probably going to buy. Uh, I was really happy. I drove one hour for this. Oh my God. Actually, two, going well, back. I did the same for my second stop. So. Yeah, so I mean, you don't have to say anything. Victoria was not so happy because she thought I was going to spend uh, quite some money on the golf clubs, but uh, she was quite happy. You should find a sponsor. I know, but how? Well, yeah. I don't so, uh, you know, if you want no, to... Need, we need to find a golf club sponsor uh, for Dries. Yeah. So his girlfriend doesn't get angry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, think about me. I mean, we all know, we have all been there. And That's uh, it. You can make a deal with all the viewers and listeners and whatever you want to call them readers <laughs> if they find you uh, a golf club deal they get 20 percent of the deal what do you mean of that yeah if they find a com i don't know how much is the golf a good golf set club yeah. cost 4k yeah well then they get you you get the product and they get 20 percent of what it's worth so 800 euros you give them 800 euros because they brought did you them think the about that it was difficult to count that or not Called me a millisecond, but <laughs> you're still thinking if it's yes. right or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, as long as I can get a deal. I and mean, I want the gym equipment. I want a new treadmill, uh, a, a rower. Get a techno gym thing. Yeah, hey, uh, look how expensive it is. I mean, it doesn't matter for you anyway. Yeah, it's pocket money. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can send them an email. Oh, that's good. I, I, now I know why you don't have a golf club sponsor. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dries Fantor. I'm a race car driver. I yeah, I don't know how to spell, but <laughs> I want to play golf. <laughs> Can you send me, please? I make picture. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. You tried it. <laughs> no, not like this. But I, I was sometimes when I'm bored uh, in the plane, I go through my pictures. And last time I was going through my mails, but like from a long time ago, and I found the thing sponsorship and I kid you not I was writing an email and I don't remember what was in it but man the guy who must have read this email <laughs> he must have fucking deleted it immediately without even going to the end it was so bad yeah, I tried to get like I love I mean I spent more time trying to find like product sponsors because I just enjoy it um, like Ryzen and like sacred coffee. And what about the Xbox that you got? Yeah, I need to make a picture with it. It's like a limited edition from our Le Mans livery. I mean, ah, yeah. I never play PlayStation or Xbox. I tried to install it, and then I bought a game for ninety bucks, and then it took two hours to install, and then since then I've never. <laughs> like it's it. nice. I mean, honestly, I'm yeah. a bit jealous. It's a shame it's a Porsche one. Otherwise, I would have taken it from you. Actually, Jacqueline and Emily asked to install and play Mario Bros or whatever. Ah, yeah. Love didn't even exist on it. I can come and play if you want. You're welcome. I mean, There's only one controller, so... I didn't go buy a second one. That's quite cool. Eh? I think it's already nice to have it on the table. To be honest, it's a very nice thing. You should put a couch and a TV screen here somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to maybe buy and make a golf simulator. Never mind. Okay, I'll talk about something else. So, um, uh, what's the next race for you? already said that. Mm. We came quite unprepared to this podcast. Huh? Yeah, you. My dog died. Yeah, it's not this a joke. is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid idiot. No, my dog literally died today. But I mean, it's uh, it's sad, but it's life, huh? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I have to get up at six. <clears throat> Do you first wake up because I saw this lately? You you went you had a flight at seven, but you woke up at four to do a training. I yeah. mean, which idiot in this planet would do this? 
You yeah, anyway I already go on a plane. I woke up at four and then did the uh, interval training in the gym yeah, for an hour. And then... mean, that must be. When you drive, yeah, and you you do you go to a corner and you are. Uh, do you then feel that you are so fit? Do you like oh this corner? I didn't feel it because I'm so fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, uh, oh, guys, I just finished my stint. Did I did I do one hour or <laughs> 10 laps? Tell me. No, when I come out of the car, I probably look more tired than you. But no, it depends how relaxed I am. But no, I, you know it. I don't need to go in detail. I enjoy it and I need to do it for my mental state of mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like being, I, I never want to lose a race because I was fat, tired, unprepared or whatever no for sure nobody wants huh yeah so i'm not giving it any chance to to be like that why well, you literally are doing that and i don't think everybody anyone ever said for ah, lawrence i think we're gonna fire him he trains too much he doesn't eat proper enough he's not focused enough kick him out no i mean <laughs> even if you'll be six seconds off they would probably keep you considering you're so f- uh, <laughs> fat i want to say <laughs> fit <laughs> almost hey one thing i'm not fat anymore Six percent body fat. Probably oh, I think five. I have to do this well. I tomorrow go for 60, training. Uh, somebody's watching. You I could go, swim actually. You uh, float. We went swimming once. You oh. float. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went swimming once. Remember? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> no, I do. I do uh, remember very well. Yeah. Thought you drowned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one new thing I can talk about. We are coming with the Evo package for our GD3. Yes, <clears throat> which will be coming out in 2025, making some advertising here. Mm-hmm. Um, it will be a step ahead. Well, I mean, well, it would hopefully be it would be, a, I mean, it's an Evo, so it should be getting better. <coughs> um, yeah, I did not drive with it yet, so I don't have no idea. Um, but everything I heard about it is positive. So yeah, I'm looking forward. Yeah. Hopefully it's better. Okay. Um, yeah. Should be better. Let's ask a question for the listeners. What BMW road cars do you have at the moment? Um, the I have a driver. M440i. 40i. <laughs> okay. Um, and you? Um, waiting on my new cars actually. Taycan and uh, Cayenne S Hybrid. So. No. Oh, nice. The, the the coupe Cayenne. Yeah. Well, that's nice. I also want to order X5 now. I don't know why, I like but the I'm big done. X7. Yeah, but it's big. I mean, when you know, I have to park it somewhere. Mm. But uh, I I like. Uh, I'm done with like the sporty driving. I mean, I like my Jeep, Already but it's yeah. I don't like the stiff things. Like when you go over a speed bump, you are, tung, you you hit it like no tomorrow. I would like to have like a relaxed, comfy car. It's nice to have. I mean, as much as I was complaining about electrical cars in the beginning because I had to drive very far, I do really enjoy driving it now. I actually prefer driving <coughs> it if I'm like calm, prefer driving a Taycan versus uh, currently a Macan because it's just really, you never have shifting or a lag or it's quite... It's really comfortable to to drive. Yeah, but you have to always look that you don't run out of yeah, juice. Not if you drive around here. Yeah, if you if you have to do long distances, I still take a fuel car. But apparently, the new the new Macan, the E, uh, the electric one, is like five hundred fifty. That's what they say. Yeah. Well, I just don't know, but yeah. But yeah, probably it's, clo- it's close. But it's if always it starts to be say. like that, then you can use it. But uh, I must say the X five because yesterday I was having a, a dinner with friends. And um, the one when you were so drunk? No, I was. I'm never drunk. <coughs> um, he has the new X5 hybrid, and it can do 100 kilometers, only electric, oh, yeah? and it's just like a, it's a hybrid. So I mean, yeah, that's I'm also impressive. getting a hybrid now because I mean, for tax reasons, you almost don't have a choice. Anymore. Yeah, it's especially in Belgium. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, enough. Enough. Still chatting for the day. Still have to finish my bags. Have to get up at six. I'm not going to do a training tomorrow. I did a lot of training the last couple of days. I mean, you surprised me every time again. Yeah, I know. 
I know you're learning from me. Yeah, I one mean, I wish I it. wish one day I could be like you, training as much as you. I know. Keep still keep my talent which I have compared to you, but I mean, yeah, you can't have everything in life. I mean, okay. <laughs> I think that was a good closer. <laughs> <laughs> On that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to you next time. I mean, I'm gone now for two weeks again. Yeah, two me too. I'm weeks. also gone for three weeks. And then we're going to really do this more consistently, have some superstars in. Uh, I'm still yeah. waiting on Valentino Rossi, but I guess he's... Oh, it's arranged. You gave he him the wrong address. His, his flight got late. I mean, lately with Lufthansa, it's... <laughs> yeah, this could be... No, anyway, we are, we are ending. I'm getting such annoyed with flying lately. It's... It's like it's the new the new normal is being delayed for thirty minutes. Since two times I'm flying out of Amsterdam with KLM or Delta. And it's better. I mean I did it two times. <laughs> but so far, yeah. But why? You would go to Amsterdam instead of Brussels. I always used to go to Frankfurt. Or Brussels, fly to Frankfurt and then fly somewhere else. And Amsterdam's a two hour drive and then you fly straight into Atlanta, for example. I always go Brussels. I like it. You're in 10 minutes, you're through the gates and everything. Yeah, but you don't fly direct from Brussels somewhere. No, it's but... Always I, mean, a, I hate connections. Yeah, but you can have everything in life. If I drive one hour to Brussels or two to Amsterdam and have a direct flight... Yeah, but then when you're home, jet lag, you have to still drive two hours at home. Yeah. It's a 50-50, guys and girls. Um, we'll see. Ladies, okay. boys, gentlemen, ciao, ciao. Don't have a good evening. To to watch subscribe to watch it on YouTube right. Spotify Apple Music Apple Music I know <laughs> Apple podcast maybe um, and don't forget about Reese's Golf Club sponsors yeah so. if I mean yeah. yes, I mean I am very couch. good oh. anyway okay bye